Again, it's Priscilla Bassell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm sorry for the glare from the extra lighting. I am going to do as simple a swipe as I can force myself to do, which may or may not be very simple. We'll see. I want to do a line down the center, sort of. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do anything simple because that's just not my MO. But it might be anyway. I think I'm going to overlap things. Some are going to be beside each other, some are going to be overlapped. And then I have a chance to do a keyhole swipe if I want to. Evidently I'm all over the map. I've often said I could stop and just leave something the way it was. We'll see how I like the colors. I don't think this is that. I'm definitely in the mood to swipe. And I have the colors that I like. So there we go. There are my colors. The copper is a Decord Americana 24. Decord Americana. I can't say it without 24 karat gold in it. It's a copper. It's copper colored. And I am going to hope that the person on the phone in the other room decides to go somewhere else. So he does not distract me, please. Um, I'm going to go for whatever strikes my fancy. And I think that's going to start with some purple cell activator. And maybe some white also. And I'm really hoping that that person on the phone... Excuse me, can you take your conversation somewhere else? Because I can't do anything while I'm listening to that. And I am going to keep doing that. Dolloping. This time I'm going to use some black as well as white. I like using these three colors and it has a lot to do with the fact that I don't have any others, which makes it easy to choose to do that. Now I have a huge paint chip on the bottom of my bottle. All right, that's cool. I usually call them Kiel swipes when I leave behind little gaps, but I really am dying to do some different, something a little different. And it's still looking kind of the same, but it's still looking pretty cool to me too. And I'm loving what the white does. The white is awesome. I'm going to take some of that off my card and put it right over the edge so it's not wasted. Let's do it on the other side too. All right, back to the white. The white was the bomb. The white with the purple. I gotta do some turquoise. I wonder if anybody's done turquoise cell activator yet. I wanna do both sides. I don't even know if these lines are gonna look good because it's not something I remember having done before. But I think I can use the paint left over on my card to finish that stroke down. Maybe not that one so much because it was white. I want to use a different size card. And I happen to have one. I want to throw something else in there to see what happens if I mix things up. I've got some pink diamond. And that might be really weird, but I want to see. And I don't think a little bit is going to hurt anything. It might not even show up. Now, if I'm going to pull these strands out with my card, I need to make sure I have enough paint gathered on that card. 
I don't know why, because it seems like a good idea. <laughs> and it, if I have enough paint on it, then I can go somewhere else. I kind of like that. I like the pink in there. So let's try some more of that. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link that's on the link tree that's under the video so this is not quite a geometric I've got some of that beautiful pink on there I don't know what to do with it I want it to I want it to be useful Just use it. I don't know why, I just really like that pink in there. So much so, I'm thinking. These tops that are permanent are cool for a few reasons, but they're also slightly a pain in the butt. Yeah, I really like the pink in there, and I'm a little surprised. That's the pink diamond from Color Art, which is an excellent replacement for the uh, hot orchid I was using and everything, because it dries much lighter. Yeah, that makes that really makes a heck of a difference for me. Just that little. That's sort of like when I want orange. All right, I'm going to keep moving. As best I can. I being called a blue. <laughs> Let's try some blue. I don't think a few extra colors are going to hurt anything. Yeah, I don't mind that. I might put some on the other side in it eventually. This is coming down this way. I'm not cleaning my card off, and that's purposeful. I could clean my card off if I wanted to. like it when there are more strands, I think. Sometimes too much is too much, but I think this is okay. It looks sort of like um, some sort of hanging, weaving. I'm going down here. And I might go over there. And I'm going to keep right on doing what I've been doing because I like the white with the purple a lot. I could, it could be... Whoa, I dripped right over the side. It's okay, I can use that. A little pressure on your card will help you get more paint off if you feel you're not getting enough. I'm enjoying this. This is a great process right here. I'm going to steal a little paint just by dipping my card in. If I don't drag it through, I don't disturb most of the patterns inside. They're sort of oil slick colors, especially with that pink in there. I'm loving that pink. So, back to it. Maybe I'll put some black in just to see what that's going to be like. Put a little at the front. I have this on the wrong side of the curve, so I'm having to add some pressure. It's really important, usually. Which side your curve is, but being that I'm making sure I have enough paint, 
it keeps it from dragging down to canvas. And if I get gaps in my lines, I can just use my card to fix that. That one's not so bad. They're sort of almost winding up a little bit beside each other, which is not what I was really expecting, but it's not a problem either. I like it. Use my extra paint right on my edges. I don't, I don't worry as much about edges as I used to. I say that and then I take my time to put some edges in there. All right, I don't mind the black. It didn't really show up so much that it's a problem. So I'm gonna use it again, along with the purple. got enough paint on my card to add some more lines and I can still paint. Oh, I'm liking this. This is fun. I'm going to use some more pur pink diamond and I hope I finish in a sort of a balanced way but I did calculate it in advance so there's really no guarantee just me being hopeful. I can take my spare paint and see if I need it anywhere along the sides. Yep, right there. And right here. All right, one more. One more swipe and a couple more fill-ins. I'm loving those colors. Wow. I'm so glad I put that pink in there. I can't even tell you. So one more. One more and that should be that. How much time do we have left? Three minutes. Four minutes almost. Now, if you didn't want to drag your paint out through the design, nobody's telling you you have to. You can always just put paint right on the edge of your card or put paint in a dish and dip your card into it. I put that blue in and I can't even see it anymore. But that doesn't mean I can't do it again. to add a rogue element. Move that dog hair. Scrape off my card on the edge, which is a great way to clean the card and get my edge filled up with something that makes it cohesive in the pattern. I do want to steal a little bit of paint. I want some copper. There, and that, as they say, is that pretty well. Now I could go through and match up all the lines on the edges, but I don't think I need to. And I really like that, and I think that's something anybody can do. Just going back and forth. And definitely got to remember, you don't have to steal paint or ruin your design. 
can definitely dip it into a card. Dip it into dip, dip the card. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I can just steal the tiniest little paint amount of paint. Wow, this is not my talking day. <laughs> Evidently, you could also take a skewer and anywhere you could put spirals in too, but I'm not going to do that because I like what I've got. But you can definitely connect the and fill the background in with some more lines if you want to. Move just a little, just enough of that blue paint over. Maybe steal a little bit more. Put it right down here. So we got blue, 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 blue. So the eye sort of moves around looking for that blue, whether it knows it or not. I want a little more pink right here. And then I'm going to tell you guys I have over 2,300 videos. 2,200 of them are available to you. Look for playlists, all playlists, creative playlists on my channel. I didn't think to put another line in there, but I can. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I've got two minutes to tell you I, got, I do sell my artwork. And my email address to reach me for information in that regard is underneath the link tree. The link tree is usually the first blue link under the video. Unless, of course, I'm offering you a tools video. I'm going to put my brake back in place so I can torch without the turntable turning. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the more, show more and where the description goes. No matter what I see, it's probably just me. That was a ball. And anything that's incomplete like that mark right there, I will fix. So please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. When you share my videos, you help me out. When you um, watch them longer, you help me out. When you watch the commercials, you help me out. When you leave me a comment, it boosts my morale, but it helps me out too. So I really appreciate that. If you want to be in the monthly drawing, there are paintings up for grabs pretty much every month in the monthly drawing. And you can see what they are included at the beginning of the exhibition video that's on the end screen in the last 20 seconds of any video, especially recent ones. I say especially because right now I haven't added them, but I need to remember that. I just made a turquoise line into a blue, half blue, half turquoise line. Oh well, I won't tell if you don't tell. I wonder if I could have woven some of those over the... Never mind. Anyway, so my Amazon link is on the link tree. And if you shop there, you'll find all kinds of awesome tools, including the OXO omelet turning flip and fold miraculous spatula. I recommend highly for anybody who's going to do this for any length of time because it helps you spread paint amazingly. I'd love to guarantee it, but I don't make them and I don't make much on them when you buy them. <laughs> but I'd love you to have them so it'll make you happy. It makes me happy knowing you're happy. If you have questions, please ask me. My community board is on my YouTube channel, and it will usually have tomorrow's video on it, as will my Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More for shopping pixels.com, Fine Art America. Occasionally Spring Clothing, the same stuff you can find under the video. All of those places you can have something added if you can't find what you like there from my YouTube video artworks, or any artworks of mine actually. Um, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. Look for the PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner or look for the link on my link tree. What, what did I forget to tell you? I don't know. Oh, Legalaris Clothing is right there on the top of the link tree when you open up the link tree. Uh, Legalaris Clothing is made in Montreal. It's very exclusive high-end investment quality clothing and definitely worth checking out. My paint pouring recipe, did I tell you it's underneath show more? I may have. Uh, did I tell you I love you today? And on my, on my link tree, I have Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links too. I love you guys. Thank you for inspiring the heck out of me. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I might be getting better at these. I think maybe it's the Aussie flow troll though. There is an alternative, the American flow troll with pre-stained wood conditioner from Midwax added in. I think it depends on who you talk to, but I have my, my version of a recipe. 
Yeah, I'm loving.